Hello, and a very happy April Fool's to everybody. I hope no one is falling for any tricks today. I've already fell for one myself, but I don't usually play um, April Fool tricks on people. It's just not my thing. Anyway, jumping right into it, mm -hmm. I wanted to film today a feeling and not feeling what I got in March, the things I picked up, the things I got in my Ipsy, Sephora, and BoxyCharm, and just kind of give a little bit of an update on uh, what I've been liking and using and what I've passed on and all that kind of mm. good stuff. And if you're interested, um, please take a second mm. to like, subscribe, mm. and um, comment. <laughs> I don't know why I bother to say that. No one ever does. But yeah, let's get into it. For those of you that are new here, um, I do have a special needs child. He is very vocal. He can't help it. Um, and so if you hear him in the background, that's just what happens here. But anyway, I'm going to start out with my Ipsy because I have that pulled up right now. And the first thing I want to start with is this Oprah highlighter we got. Well, I got um, yeah, I love this. It's, a uh, Star Island, and I have that on my cheeks today. And, yeah, I'm really enjoying this highlighter. Like I said in a previous video, if it wasn't for Ipsy, I would have probably never tried this, and I would have really been missing out. Um... The second thing I wanted to say real quick, um, this mm. lipstick I got mm. was a little too purple for mm. me, so I passed that on mm. to my daughter, um, mm. along with the Man Eater, Man Eater Mascara. Uh, I didn't really care for that. Mm. This I'm probably going to pass mm. on to her, this First Aid Beauty mm. Coconut mm. Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. I have very oily skin, and it just, and large pores, and yeah, it just didn't, it didn't work for me the way I hoped it would. The next thing on the list here is this brush, the shader brush I got, and yeah, I think it's Slim's Glam. Anyway, mm. it's a really soft brush. I've used it a couple times. I've washed it a couple times. Mm. Uh, very soft. I, I do like that brush. Uh, along with the mm. Farrah brushes that I had mm. did an add-on for. I don't have them. I, I forgot to grab them, but that's what they look like. And I've really been enjoying those, too. They were meant to be put mm. in my makeup bag in my purse in case I needed anything while I was out and about, but <laughs> yeah, I like them, so I use them all the time. The Space Case eyeshadow, this green eyeshadow, I really loved this in the picture. Um, I can't say whether I love it now because I haven't tried it yet, and I really, really need to. Uh, another thing I forgot to grab was the Huda Mauve palette that I added on to my order. Yeah, I love that. It blended nice. It looked beautiful. It wore nice all day. Really, really liked it. Okay, next up is Sephora Play. And I can tell you now that the dry shampoo and the perfume... They always go to my daughter every time. I don't, I don't use these types of products. Mm. I have yet to find a dry shampoo that doesn't mm. make my hair feel worse. So I just don't use them. The Makeup Forever Foundation. Mm. It was definitely too light of a coverage foundation for me. Um, so I passed that along to my daughter because her skin is still young and beautiful. <laughs> the things I did like from my support. Sephora Play was actually surprising to me. The Lashcraft uh, Big Volume Mascara. 
the confidence in a cleanser from it. I really, really like this. I'm, I have to repurchase this. And the NARS bronzer, I do like. It's, um, it's a hair darker than what I usually use in a bronzer, so I really haven't used it but a couple times, but it seemed to blend out nicely and um, wear nicely. It's just a little, a little darker than what I had in mind for myself. I'm not a real dark complected person. Okay, that brings me to my Boxy Lux. I really enjoyed, this was my first Boxy Lux, and yeah, I really loved it, so I can't complain. I definitely think it was worth the money that I spent for the Lux box. Um, all except for this. This, uh, yeah. Maybe I'm just not a peel-off mask kind of person. I don't think it's good to pull on your skin that hard, and it really it hurt to actually peel off. Uh, like I said in a previous video, um, I do think it cleans some of the pores out on my nose, so um, still considering using that just on my nose. Um, yeah, it might not be too bad. Something I have been using every day was the Confidence in a Cream. Has a real um, soft, a little soft to medium smell, uh, citrus smell, but uh, the smell doesn't seem to be bothering me, um, which is a good thing because I don't use perfumes or anything like that. They give me migraines, so I have to be real careful with anything that has smells. But yeah, this, I've been enjoying this. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, as we'll get through the jar, if I decide to get another one, or if I find something better by then, you know what I mean. Uh, the nail polish, uh, it hasn't even been a week. Like I said, though, I'm very rough on my nails. And I mean, I guess it's $20 for this set, so if you break it down to $10 a piece, uh, it's not too bad. I mean... Like I said, I'm really hard on my nails. I'm constantly taking care of Thomas and doing housework and um, just, I'm rough on my nails. Uh, on that thought, let me see if I can't make him a little happy and I'll be right back. Okay, maybe 30 seconds. <sighs> Next up, the, um, the Moda brushes that we got in here. I've really been liking this one for my cheeks. My cheek blush, it um, it puts it on lighter, so I like it because it's, it's real soft and fluffy. Um, I've been liking using this for a blush brush actually. This one, I've been just like I said, using it to catch any fallout when I do those lower lash line um, colors because it's so. <laughs> so soft and flimsy that I'm not really sure what else it might be good for. I tried it as a highlighting brush and it just, it's not firm enough. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Anyway, God help me, the iconic brows. Yeah, I do like this. I really, really do. And like I said, um, I'm going to have to use this and see how long it lasts me before it starts to dry out before I could make a decision on whether I'd repurchase it or not because I mean I do use the Brow Wiz and I enjoy the Brow Wiz. It's, it's faster than this. I don't know if perhaps I could get faster at it but I'm yeah not great with brows but I do like it. If it lasts several months I there's a good chance I'll repurchase it because yeah it I like it. I don't know what else to say. Same for the Lily Lashes. I love these Lily Lashes. I mean, they seem to be wearing nicely, uh, clean easily, and they're holding up to being cleaned. I've worn them a couple times so far. Um, but $29 for one pair of lashes is what I generally see. Obviously, these are like a $25 pair, I think it was. 
Um, let me see. Yeah, twenty four ninety nine for one pair of lashes. That's it's lashes. You know what I mean? Um, Becca lipstick. This is a pretty lipstick. I love the packaging for this. He's clapping his hands because he's not happy that I'm on here. But I, I absolutely love the packaging for this. Mm -hmm. I love the color. It's beautiful. The problem I have is it doesn't wear very long. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a silky wear. So when you put it on, it's, it's a keep in your handbag or your pocket if you don't carry a purse. Um, so you can reapply it regularly. That's just my opinion. The Cover FX palette. I have really been enjoying this. I mean, like, really. This, yeah, I use it almost every day. I only use this, the cheek blush, and sometimes I'll use the powder there. The finishing powder and the brightening powder, if I think like my nose needs to be a little more contoured or if this looks too harsh, uh, the finishing powder seems to work good to uh, make that not look so harsh for me. But uh, repurchasing it, probably not, if I'm being honest, because, yeah, I mean, I'm only mainly using two shades out of here. The highlighters are nice, but not they're not my type of highlight that I enjoy a whole, whole lot. Hold that thought. Okay. And the Morphe palette. I have done two looks with this palette. One a little more pinky, one a little more bronze orangey. I enjoyed both the looks. I enjoyed the way the palette worked. Unfortunately, I'm getting to be a palette-aholic, so <laughs> I really need to start using some of the palettes I have more often because I enjoy many of them, but some, yeah, I can't help. I like when new stuff comes out. <laughs> anyway, last but not least that I got in my um, Boxy Lux was the bag. This bag is awesome. It's holding all my tons of lipsticks because yeah i live in a small small house so this was perfect to hold all my lipsticks in um yeah i i love it okay now we can go on to stuff that i've purchased or got with my orders as like samples um these two are items I've purchased. They're both brow products. The first one is the Maybelline uh, Brow. I can't even read that with my contacts in because I'm getting old. Mm. But yeah, uh, every time I use this, every time it is so soft, every time I use it, I have to sharpen it. And it doesn't stay very well for me. So that was definitely a, a fail. And <laughs> same with this, this e.l.f. one. I'm, I'm going to retry this e.l.f. one, actually. Um, my mistake, I did not know with e.l.f. Uh, that deep brown meant black. <laughs> so I am just going to, I want to try their regular brow pencil. I have so many brow products right now between the mm. iconic brows and Ulta's 21 day of beauty having the brow whiz on sale. I bought a couple of those. So it may be a while before I get around to trying it again. Who knows if I happen to be walking by and see it when I need something else. I may grab one in the brown just to see. You know what I mean? Mm. It, it can never hurt to just grab it. It was only like Two bucks. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try to do stuff in some kind of an orderly fashion. Um, I had got in March the Tatcha Silk Canvas and the Elf Poreless Putty Primers. I like them both. Um, yeah, I really do. Uh, 
as long as I can get the elf one, I'll probably just use the elf. I used the elf again today, and I mean, it's been several hours since I put my makeup on because I put it on this morning, and it's been so dingy and rainy. I was hoping that I get a little better lighting. That's why I'm in a different spot than I'm usually in because I'm closer to where I have more lighting so I don't look so dingy for this video. But yeah, um, I like them. Uh, I can't say that I would spend the money on the Tatcha though when the e.l.f. works the same. I mean, what can I say? As far as foundations this month, the only one I actually purchased was the L'Oreal um, Infallible and I really do like this. I'm not sure how it's going to work for me this summer because like I said, here in Florida, it's very humid in the summer and I'm just not, I'm not knowing how this is going to be for the summer. You know what I mean? When it, when I start to get really oily and really sweaty all the time and the Tarte found sealer, same thing with this. I really liked it. I really liked the way it wore, um, but we're not in that really humid part of the year yet. So that's another one I'll have to see on. Um, these, the infallible concealer and uh, contour. I might, I might need a little uh, shade lighter in the contour because it's a little darker than what I like. And um, maybe one shade darker. So one shade lighter, one shade darker for the concealer because this might be a little too light, but we'll, especially for the summer. Um, we'll have to see. I'm still working with these and seeing how they work with different foundations. With any kind of foundation or setting powders, like I have, I have the Huda Sugar Cookie here that I got last month too, that I have been enjoying. It's a little strong for me. Um, so if I'm having one of those days where I think I might feel a headache coming on, I definitely can't use that because of the smell. But it seems to, because I'm wearing it today, um, it seems to work really nice. It's just that smell. I don't know. If Huda ever sees this, maybe she'll hear me when I say us headache-prone people need a non-scented setting powder that works this good. <laughs> anyway, oh, I did want a quick honorable shout-out to this e.l.f. sponge I have. I love this thing. I have been using it every day since I bought it, washing it, everything else, still holding up, still looking nice. I love this sponge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Crystal K Beauty, she uh, was talking about the Wet n Wild ones being really awesome, and I'll have to give those a try when this one does wear out. But as of right now, that's I'm going to keep repurchasing that because, yeah, I hope they never change it. I really like it. Um, lips. I I guess I'll start out with this. I got this sample with one of my Sephora orders. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Um, yeah, it kind of feels kind of weird on your lips, but I don't know that it that it's making a difference on my lips. I want to think it is because I have such small upper lip but I I can't say right now and then I got these Huda lip kits um I've been enjoying these too I haven't been using the pink as much as I have the brown one but uh I am wearing the pink one today I don't use the glittery lip toppers all that much because I of course, they lessen the wear time of them, but there's no denying. When you put them on, they feel really good. They don't... I mean, you can feel the glitter a little, especially on my dry lips, but it doesn't feel real bad. It, it They're nice. I like them. Like I said, I've been using them quite a bit. Uh, and that's saying something because I love my Dominique Cosmetics ones immensely. <laughs> Setting sprays. I used to, I used the all-nighter and the Maybelline one almost all the time. 
but I saw this oil control one and a couple of the warmer days that we've had here in Florida, I use this. And yeah, I really like this. I think this is going to be the one I use from now on. This one I can use on drier days like today. I actually use this one today. Um, I do like, I love the smell of this. The smell of this doesn't bother me at all either. Most of the time I use this for wetting my brushes though, if I'm being honest. Because, yeah, if I try to wear it on days when it's a little warmer and a little more humid. Mm -mm. Yeah, it looks weird on me. Fast. Mm. More highlighters that I've been liking were these Wet n Wild ones I got. Oh my god. I love these. I mean, I love these. I love the way they go on. I love the way they look. I really, really like those. Definitely will be something if I ever happen to run out of, which I highly doubt. I mean, I've even, I've even, I wanted my daughter to try the You Glow Girl, so I gave her some in a little container, and I still don't think that I'll ever go through these because I like highlighter and I got a ton anyway. And the last highlighters that I'm going to talk about in this video were the Anastasia ones. I did get the whole little kit because I just couldn't help myself. Um, obviously this one, like I said, I want to play around with is like a eyeshadow maybe. If not, I'll have to eventually pass it on when I can part with it. <laughs> This one, I mean, I, I like these. I think they're beautiful. I'm just still working with how to apply them without mm -hmm. it looking like a sharp mm -hmm. line. I don't, I don't know. But mm -hmm. they are beautiful. And this for a bra bone or mm -hmm. inner corner highlight, I mean, they're beautiful. They're without question so beautiful anyway last but not least eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes <laughs> are you tired of hearing me talk yet i'm sure you are you don't have to answer that um i'm gonna start with the wet and wild little quads that i got i did a video with this one um other than the shadows being a little powdery. I need to, I want to do another look with these, but um, the eyeshadows are kind of powdery. Uh, mm. Other than that, um, yeah, they're, they're a little dark for this time of year, so. But they're not horrible. I've had worse mm. recently. <laughs> uh, next thing I'm going to talk about that wasn't on my, high on my list was I'm so sad. The Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes. Now, I will say that the lighter look I created with this, I I loved the look. I love the packaging. I love the smell of these shadows. But I had trouble with the glitter. It just was all over my face by the end of the day. And the blues... They just didn't really work at all for me. I mean, they they were patchy, and yeah, I I don't know what else to say about that. But uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, next up, I want to talk about uh, my ColourPop, just my luck palette. I love this palette. It blends beautifully. I would have liked to have seen... Um, some different tones of greens because um when you have the palette and you're putting it on your eyes like this shade and this shade they're a lot more similar than what you think and like instead of like this 50 50 maybe um i don't know it some of these shades really stand out to me. I love this light shade. I love these two shimmer shades. These two shimmer shades. And um, these are good for darkening up your outer corner and your crease. But yeah, a little more shade variety would have been cool for a 
all green palette, but hey, it works beautifully, so you can't complain too much. Um, my eye pigments, I really love, oops, I really love, I got all these eye pigments, and I really love them, I do, I keep them in my Ipsy bag, I made good use of my Ipsy bag, but uh, yeah, I have to work on different, um, I don't know, like color schemes, and I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm still playing with those, but I love them, they're beautiful. Uh, the staining I'm not a huge fan of, but it, it doesn't take, but because I wash my face a couple times a day. I wash it in the morning, and I actually wash my face. I have like a two to three step washing deal in the shower, too, so at night. So it doesn't take long for it to come off. It's not like it stains for days. So last but not least in the eyeshadow category is... My favorite palette of the month, definitely my Riviera palette. I know I haven't done any looks on here with this. I do want to do some this coming month. I'm wearing this on my eyes today, and yeah, I love this palette. It blends beautifully. It it stays on nice. Like I said, I did. <laughs> He's so jealous of me filming. It stays on well during the day. Um, you do get fallout just like with all my Anastasia palettes, but that doesn't bother me. Well, I just started doing my face makeup last because I like these that much. That's my opinion. I know not everyone's into the Anastasia uh, formula, but I am. I, I quite enjoy it. I lied. I do have one more thing, and that is my Inky Minky Lashes. I love these lashes. Text message. <laughs> I have been wearing these a ton. Well, at least these two. <laughs> and these are Daddy's Girl and Hi There Gorgeous. I have wore those several times this month, and yeah, I just I can't say enough about them today. I uh, I have Angelic on, and I gotta say, I'm definitely gonna give these, because when I got these in the mail, I thought, oh, those are a little, oh, fluffy for me. I thought the same about this, though, and I mean, I think they look great. I really like them, um, so definitely gonna be something that's probably gonna take the place of my Ardell, because... I just like them that much, <laughs> and I cannot recommend them enough. Anyway, that's about it for my feeling and not feeling um, video that I want to start doing each month so that it's just going to be easier to update you on um, what I'm feeling and not feeling that I got in the month if I come on here and just make a video about it like everybody else does. Anyway. The phone keeps going off on me, so I had to stop and answer some of these messages I've been getting so that uh, they didn't pile too much on me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below that nobody ever comments in. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. Um, this month coming up, I'm so excited. I was able to get a couple things from the Blue Blood collection from Jeffree Star, including the palette. I have some new BH brushes that I want to try out coming along with the, <sighs> sorry, he's not happy, along with the Daisy, is it Daisy Marquez, is that how you say it, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, um, palette that I just think is so pretty and I couldn't resist if I was getting the brushes and today they had that um, $15 off or whatever it is that actually worked. I thought it was an April Fool's joke, but it wasn't. Um, and I had the Tarte face tape coming because that's supposed to be a little more matte. So I'm hoping that might work this summer. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, and I have the Melt Stack, the new Melt Stack coming with a couple. I'm sorry. I have the new Melt Stack coming with a couple of uh, the eyeliners. 
So it's going to be an exciting month. I'm so happy. I'm so broke, but I'm so happy. And I hope you guys will stick around and enjoy new makeup and having fun with me and Thomas, even though he's a turd. And uh, yeah, if you like me filming here better because you can see more and I can get closer and further away, um, let me know and I'll just start filming in this little area of the house. I think the lighting is probably going to even be better over here than what I thought it would be over by the door. So anyway, I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing today, you're having a wonderful day and not having too many pranks played on you. From me and Thomas, lots of love and have a wonderful April because we plan on it. <laughs> It's his birthday. He'll actually, I know I said he was 17, but he will be 17 the 29th. So we are excited about that. And yeah, have a great day. Bye, guys.